Okay, so you want me to start telling my story? Yeah. Okay, sure. sh where should I look? Anywhere? You can look at, at me. You? Okay. <sighs> okay, so um, in December of 2012, I didn't have a car. I was just on bicycle everywhere. And it was a Friday after work. There was a friend, a coworker of mine was hosting a little party at her place. And after that, every Friday night, I have sushi night with my girlfriends. So I was going to go to the co-worker's party and then go to sushi night. So I ride over to her place, no problem. Um, and then my friend Sarah calls, and they're going to have sushi at a place that's not like our normal spot. So I was north of 610 at TC Jester, and they were going to be meeting like at Wesleyan, that movie theater, Greenway Plaza. So that's not that big of a ride, right? But it was a different route. So we're at my friend's house, my coworker, and we're looking like what route I'm gonna take because they're all worried. It's nighttime, it's cold, it's December. So she has her house set up where there's like her TV is also her computer. So there's like 10 people looking at this and we're all working on this route together. And lo and behold, there's this magical road that cuts straight through Memorial Park. It's like a straight shot from her, her house all the way to Greenway. It didn't occur to any of us that we didn't recognize this road. <laughs> it didn't seem weird at the time, but everybody that I was with agreed on the route. And so, you know, I had my lights, went on my way. It was probably about 6.30 or 7. So it's December, it was dark. Um, so everything's good, I get to Memorial Park, and I knew that I was going to have to take a little trail to get to this road, which was no big deal. Um, so I find the trail, and I'm on it, and I've never ridden through Memorial Park, only around it. So I was on my fixed gear. Um, <laughs> this is like a mountain bike trail, <laughs> and it's dark and the park is closed <laughs> but I knew it was just a short way to get to this road and then it was a straight shot to sushi so <laughs> uh, I'm on the trail and it's getting a little treacherous so I'm just carrying my bike at this point and the trail ends and it's just a huge clearing like the trees are knocked down it's like Everything is gone. It's just a big open space. So I'm like, Ugh, I don't know what to do. So I get on my phone and I look, you know, on the GPS and I can see the road and I can see that I'm really close to it. So no big deal. I'm a little bit freaked out, but not, you know, no big deal. It's dark and the park is closed and I'm wandering through the middle of it in a big open clearing, no big deal. carrying my bike and I'm starting you know, to walk, and I'm following the dot on my phone, and I'm, like, getting closer and closer, and I get to the road, and it's not a road, it's a railroad track, <laughs> so now I'm like, okay, what should I do? I'm in the middle of the park at a railroad track, so I walk onto the railroad track with my bike, and start walking down the railroad track when a train starts coming and I'm just about to be over a bridge. Thank God I hadn't made it to the bridge. So I'm like, I literally have to like jump off the tracks down the gravel with my bike. I'm like, <laughs> so now I'm like freaked out. Okay, so I'm like, okay, let's go back to the road. So like scratch this whole plan. Obviously can't take the railroad track all the way there. It's probably been about 30, it's been a good while now at this point and so of course I had hit that clearing and like I cannot find the trails I cannot find any trails and now I'm just in the middle of Memorial Park with my bike and my flashlight and since I'm using the light on my phone the battery is just like it's just dropping really fast right so I'm in a little bit of a pickle because I can see you know, the interstate, I can see lights. Like, I, I'm in the city. I'm right in the middle of the city. I'm not lost, but I'm, like, totally lost also at the same time. And I'm, like, I'm going to be that girl that gets eaten alive in the park, like, in the middle of the night because uh, she was lost. So I call Mike, uh, my husband, and he, of course, is not very happy to hear that I'm lost in 
the middle of Memorial Park instead of at Sushi Night. <laughs> He's freaking out. <laughs> I'm freaking out. He's like trying to find me on the satellite, on the computer. I don't know what he's doing. He's trying to find a way out, and I'm also trying to find a way out. And I'm just wandering aimlessly through this very large clearing, carrying my bike, like climbing over trees, through brush. It's bonkers, and it's pitch black. Um, finally, just by chance, I happen to come on a little trail, a little clearing, and I start walking through it, and it's great. I get to a spot where I can see the softball field, so I'm really excited. I'm on the phone with Mike, and I'm like at 1% battery right now, and I'm like, I have to get off the phone with you. He's like, I'm going to come find you, but there's no way he could come find me because, I mean, I'm lost. Like, what? We don't need two lost people in the woods of Memorial Park, so I get off the phone with him, and I start kind of star fishing out, right? So I leave my bike in a central location and just walk in different paths and I keep hitting <laughs> like a bayou so I can see civilization but there seems to be like a circle of bayou that I'm surrounded by. And just finally, after I kept doing that for about another hour, <laughs> I found a path <laughs> and I was like, make it to the softball field emerge from the wilderness of Memorial Park and um, you know, ride my bike to the gas station where then Mike uh, picked me up. And there was a silent car ride home. <laughs> but learned two things, right? Learned what um, a railroad looks like on a map. Very valuable lesson. Looks, you know, wasn't a road. Now I know, oh, that's a railroad. And also shortcuts, you know, don't work. Just a reminder, that was kind of a theme for that year. Shortcut doesn't work. So anyway, I got to sushi and had a great